we present more captive form, the first framework for joint molecular 3D human motion capture from monocular RGB images, which is able to track non-rigid 3D deformations of the environment. When capturing human motion in complex scenes, most existing methods address the human scene interactions only weakly, simply ignoring the surface deformations that often occur during the interactions. This results in erroneous global 3D human poses caused by excessive panelization of human scene collisions, or still severe human scene interpenetrations, especially when the deformations are abundant. In contrast, our more cap deform approach is the first to explicitly model non-rigid deformations of the scene that the human interacts with and achieves improved 3D human motion capture as well as 3D reconstruction of the deformable environment. The output scene deformations produced by other methods can not only assist more accurate human pose estimation, but also be beneficial for other applications in vision and graphics, such as guiding the artistic design of the deforming scene. Other method includes three stages, namely initial pose estimation, global pose optimization, and joint scene deformation and pose refinement. The framework receives an RGB image and a pre-scanned scene mesh as an input. During the first stage, we leverage an off-the-shelf human pose estimator that outputs global 3D human poses used for the pose initialization. Due to the scale ambiguity, the initial poses may not be accurate in terms of global coordinates. Next, we utilize a human contact estimation network to acquire most probable contact areas on the human body surface from the initial estimations. We then apply our new ray casting technique to find the contacts on the scene. It casts rays from the camera through the reprojected human contact points to the scene surface. Specifically, after obtaining the contact points on the human body, we reproject the points to the 2D image space using camera parameters. We then apply a segmentation algorithm to generate tight human masks on the image. The mask is used to mask out the contact reprojections that are occluded by seeing objects. Next, we generate rays from the camera position through the filtered reprojections and let the rays hit the scene mesh. Due to the complexity of scene geometry, each ray may have more than one hit. In the case of unoccluded reprojections, we can expect the first hit of each ray to be the desired contact point on the scene. We next register the human contact points to the same contact points with an energy-based optimization and obtain accurate global 3D human poses. In the third stage, we firstly determine the rigidity flex of the scene surfaces by semantically segmenting the input mesh. Then, we further filter the movable vertices by finding the nearest neighbors of the human body on the scene and propagating them into a movable area. Next, by our collision checking and normal matching schemes, we select control vertices out of the movable area to be used as anchor points for scene deformation. Then we model the non-rigid scene deformations using as rigid as possible regularization and perform joint scene deformation and pose refinement by alternatively updating the human poses and the surface deformations. As a result, we obtain accurate 3D human poses as well as plausible scene deformations. 
Furthermore, to evaluate the accuracy of joint 3D human motion capture and recovery of 3D scene deformations, we record a new dataset containing four monocular RGB sequences of four subjects interacting with three deformable pieces of furniture, a sofa, a soft stool, and especially a beanbag. The videos are recorded at 30 frames per second, and the dataset contains 16,000 frames. Each frame is annotated with accurate template-based 3D human meshes and non-rigid 3D scene reconstructions that are used as ground truth in other evaluations and can be used in follow-up research. Notably, the beanbag retains its shape even after the human stands up, which enables evaluation of how plausible the recovered deformations are. Here, we show comparisons of our results with the state of the art. Compared to the previous method, our mocap deform approach shows more accurate global localizations, less noticeable temporal jittering, and, for the first time, realistic scene surface deformations. In addition, our method also applies to entirely rigid environments since our ray casting strategy enables accurate 3D global human poses also in such scenes. We also show quantitative results on various datasets. Here are the results on the PROX quantitative dataset. We can observe that our method outperforms the state of the arts on all of the evaluation metrics and produces significantly less human scene collisions thanks to our scene deformation modeling. Here are the results on our more captiform dataset, which further illustrates the effectiveness of our method. Furthermore, we test the effectiveness of the stage 3 of our method by experimenting on the RGBD data of the PROX quantitative dataset. Here we skip stage 2 of our method and use the ground truth depth information to localize the global human body. The result confirms that modeling the deformation of the scene contributes to further improvement of human pose estimation. We also compare our recovered deformations of the beanbag to the ground truth meshes. The recovered deformations are reasonable in both cases. Thanks for watching.